Oaklands by Lovell Homes and the, the Oaklands is situated off Matlock, Matlock Avenue in Dorley in Telford. Now what's beautiful about this site is, see those trees there? That is the Telford Town Park right on your doorstep. There isn't one site in Telford that's, uh, that's that close to the Telford Town Park except for this one. So this is the house type, the beautiful Westwood. It's a three bedroom, um, semi-detached, link detached, whichever you like. You can see these beautiful graphite windows here, really tall subframe windows. Nice bit of brick, but you've got detail in the stuff on there. Bit of differential in the brick there, slightly dark. But anyway, let's come take a look at this beautiful Westwood. Welcome to the Westwood by Lovell Homes. I know. Beautiful day today. Well, I call it the Westwood then. It is the Westwood, yes. Three bed. Right, let's have a look. Are we to plan? Well, let me explain a little bit more about this development. This development is shared by the um, the company New Place, and they're sort of sharing this site. And um, the Lovells are all for sale, and also there's some rented properties by New Place. Good, beautiful development, very select. And um, well, let's just explain. New Place are an organisation owned by the Rickinghausen Trust, aren't they? The, the Town Rickinghausen Council, Council, yes. And New Place then let the homes out they're for rent aren't yeah they? and so love what they work of rented homes and homes to buy that's it and they side. work very closely yeah. with lovell yeah oh lovely night right we're not to plan we're back to front so should we start in the hall okay front door then as you see we've got oh lovely wallpaper oh i like that downstairs loo it's a good size got a window Nice tiled, nice tiled wall just on the back of there, really nice, just a little de bit of detail on it. It's quite a wide hallway isn't yeah. it, and it's got a little curve on it, and it's got a window there which is very nice, so it gives you that extra sense of space. But it feels, very, it does feel very yeah. wide doesn't it? Well, we've got the RCD box at the bottom of the stairs I think. Yeah, and there's a pad thing there behind yeah, us. Yeah, that's an upgrade, but I think the RCD box should have maybe gone in the toilet. Maybe, no. out of the way. Yeah. But it's always got to be accessible. I've seen they're a bit unsightly. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the lounge then, living room. It's very bold colours, aren't they? Very grown up. We've got a lot of bronzes in yeah. this. Uh, in Look this at that window place. though, that is quite a big window. Yeah. Lit well, they're making the most of the light, yeah. aren't they? It's quite a contemporary looking development, yeah. actually, with the, uh, the graphite windows. Yeah, and a little portico as well. But actually, it, it makes sense, really, because if you'd have cut the window off there, you'd have lost all that yeah. extra light coming in. You get a little glimpse of the garden as well, yeah. don't you? Right, living room. Let's have some dimensions. Um, 3 metres 14 by 5 metres 10. I think it's a really good size for a lounge. It certainly is. Even in a even in a four bed, it's, it's got a little angle on it there, because it just makes the hall a little bit wider. But certainly, yeah. You get this in a you Plenty get this in a room, lot, you know a, a four bed for good size furniture yeah. as well. Okay, so back in the hallway then we've got cupboard under the stairs with a light switch. Okay. And then we're through into the kitchen and dining room. Oh, the lights have come off. Nice, very light at the back, isn't it? It is nice. I mean, look at it. Yeah. it it's, it's lovely, yeah? Yeah. Really opens that garden up, doesn't it? Really. Well, you've got the extra windows at the side. Yeah. I do like this because it means that if you just want to open the window for a little bit of fresh air, you know, if you've been cooking, you haven't got to open the patio yeah. doors, you can just open these which is nice you don't lose that little window feature and what's great about this site is it's actually a brownfield site as well it's a brownfield site mm -hmm. it's on the site of the former um, langley infant school i think it was right well the dimensions for this kitchen dining room are five meters two that'll be length by two meters eight in width so what have we got in this kitchen then there's a sticker on it there telling me that uh, things are included. Okay, so you've got your washer dryer in there because it's not a separate utility, so everything's in here. You've got your it's got a slim line. Yeah, that's washer. quite neat. It's slim line, yeah. but it's all included. So that's your under sink cupboard, plenty of cupboard space. Cupboard space there. Oh, right. So that's your drawers. There you go. Hob, boiler in here. Yeah, there's 
you boil it, then all nicely tucked away. Plenty of cupboard space. Okay, so you splash back there says yeah, it's not great, yeah. yeah. But it's nice to see the stickers on there. It is actually because a lot of developers are like guessing work and there's there? no confusion about what's included and what isn't then. So if you want the extra bits, yeah. So like your um, oven and grill there, that's included. You've got a fridge freezer here. Again, that's included. It's good. It just takes the guesswork out of it, doesn't it? Yeah. So plenty of sockets. Got an upstand there. It's a nice contemporary kitchen, mm. isn't it? I do like it. This is pretty. It's almost got a, a glitter in it. It's lovely. Yeah, right. I'm just saying that well, in the dining room itself, mm -hmm. The volume. Well, it's, it's a dining area. Yeah, the, vol it? yeah the, the volume in the ceiling and the stairs just pops no. in the air there, which is a nice little detail. It's good, isn't it? Good. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they've got chrome sockets. Maybe that's an upgrade. I don't know. You don't usually see those as standard. No. Okay. I do like the bronze lampshades, light fittings. Okay, so let's take a look upstairs. Right, so we're on the first floor then now, and as I said, we're not we're not to plan, we're back to front. So I think if we start at the front, we've got oh we've got a door here first of all. Let's have a look. It's just storage cupboard. It's useful, isn't it? So we've got bedroom three. So this is your smallest room. Still a decent size yeah. single bedroom though. Again, that window has that same effect, doesn't yeah. it? Just Dimensions in here are two meters four by two meters nine. I like the wallpaper. It's pixelated. It's pixelated, yeah. But it's an ample size. It certainly Small is. Small bedroom, size, yeah. yeah. You know, for a single bedroom, a nursery, or an office. Okay, next door you've got bedroom two. Bronze is definitely the theme it's in this the house. Yeah. Right. Bedroom two dimensions are two meters seven by three meters four. It's yeah. almost a coppery colour, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of one of those random pictures. We we're hoping to be in one of those soon. Yeah, it is. Very nice. So this is this bedroom is at the front, which is above the lounge then, front of the house. Okay, so at the rear then, this is your master bedroom, bedroom one. And it's got an ensuite. Beautiful light fitting there, look at that Steve. I like that a lot. Dimensions for bedroom one are just over the three metres by three metres three. You can see, just looking into the development, a lot of these houses have ample sized gardens. You're really lucky. We've got some really good gardens for these plots. So, we've got a wardrobe in there, which is okay. It wouldn't fit all of our clothes, would it? So, you, well, you have, have got, got room, yeah. You, you can have got room here that you could put additional yeah. wardrobes, chest of drawers, etc. Yeah. So, there is room for that. What's that? Um, it's a sound system, um, which I imagine wireless sound system. It's plugged in, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Not seen one of those before. Right then. So here, oh, there you go. Is the ensuite. And you know, we've got dimensions for this ensuite. So it is three meters in length. <coughs> excuse me, by just over one meter in width. So you get a kind of stand, you, you get a um, shower unit there, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it's a shower that. cubicle, yeah. isn't it? Um, but yeah. actually, quite a long ensuite. It's the, yeah. hot, it's the width of the bedroom. And this, the sanitary area, I think you're looking at this sanitary area is really nice. That's a really nice sink, isn't it? Look at the bath, the fitting. Yeah, it's lovely. But, yeah. yeah. You know, and that nice splash back as well there. That's, that's a nice feature. Yeah. And the mirror there, I yeah. like that. And you've got a push flush too. I think Lovell have certainly gone a little bit up market with their with their fitting. Yes, yeah, yeah, they've improved definitely. things. Yeah, yeah. Nice ensuite that. Last but not least, bathroom. And the dimensions are 
just over the two meters by just under the two meters at one nine. The tiling's so nice. Look at the just look at the the colour difference between that. Very well thought out, isn't it? Matthew, you can't even see. This is wallpaper. Yes, I'm saying the di the difference between the two. I was making that point there, right. Emma. Okay. But you can't actually see any of the joins on the tiles. Look how neat it is. Yeah. Tell me where the join is. Um, it's there, I think. Yeah, it's very good, isn't it? But actually, I think they come in strips, yeah. don't they? Yeah, really nice. So in here, you've got a bath with a shower head. Yeah. Lovely sink again, and standard loo with a brush. Yeah. Blush. I like this. Always a fan of this because you need somewhere to put your shampoo and your toothbrush and what have yeah. you. A bathroom with its own window as well, which is always really useful. For a free bed, it's pretty damn good, isn't it? Do you know it's a substantial house? Yeah. Very you nice. You know, you get a lot for your money with this. You I do. Think. It's lovely. Um, do you know what the price is of the Westwood? Have you got it? Mm, I don't. I think she did give us a price list. She did Let's have a look at this. Is um, as of well, they start from. 164,950 for a three bed. That's pretty good. Yeah, you know. that's a good price for a three yeah, bed. Yeah, that's it. And obviously you've got the additions mm. and things you, you like, you know. And it's very well situated. We are in Telford, which is the birthplace of the Re uh, Industrial Revolution. Not that that makes any difference anymore. It's got a fantastic shopping centre. Yeah, not uh, you could walk there from here. Yeah. It's on your doorstep. But the town park, yeah, Dorley's got its own little town, little uh, its own little centre, hasn't yeah, it? Really it nice, has. quaint little yeah. little place. But it's got a lot to offer here, really. But you're really actually has. very well situated for the West Midlands, for Shropshire, yeah. for the Welsh border, all within really. And on, as I said previously, really close proximity. If you wanted to buy a brand new house mm. on the edge of the town park, yeah, this, this is, is the only place. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on our next look video. Out, yeah, look out for our next video. It's coming soon.